I thought Jalen was fantastic. I thought Josh was, a, you know, just a monster making big play after big play. Uh, OG is is really coming, and that's a that's a great sign for us. Um, you know, Dante was was Dante, and I thought Bogey gave us really good minutes as well. That that end seems to be sticking with you. Was there a thought to bring Jalen back in there? No. Nah, well, you know, I wanted to see. Like, look, we. I wanted to see what those guys could do. Like, there's going to be bumps, and you have to navigate through that. And so, but my thing is, I don't want us to see. I don't want to see the same mistakes repeated over and over. And I want us to understand there's a difference in the fourth quarter. And I want us to understand what it is to use good judgment in the fourth quarter. And so, those are things you evaluate because those are, you're determining your rotation based on those things. So that's how, you know, when you say, how do you evaluate a player? That's really how you evaluate a player. It's how do you function within the group? And then do you understand, can you, you know, what's going on in the game? Tom, they, they guarded Jalen with various different guys. They blitzed them. They switched. They went with a ton of different coverages. Uh, he, he seemed to solve them really quickly. How much of his kind of most recent leap do you think has to do with that sort of aspect of the game, just how quickly he's he's recognizing those different coverages and figuring out how to beat them. Well, I think it's it's a credit to him and his teammates because they all have to be connected. I think when you're when you're a primary player like that, everyone has to understand, and you have to be working at his pace too, because the the double teams are coming fast, and if you're if one guy's not in the right spot, you can't take advantage of it. They, we can get great offense off them putting two on the ball. And then there's things we can do to create good shots for him as well. And I think we're doing that. So it's everyone working together. And that's really how you evaluate your team. You want your team working together. It's a, you know, if, if his teammates aren't doing what they need to do, then he's not going to be able to do what he does. And everyone playing to their strengths, that's a, that's a big part of winning. What, what, do you mean, what do you mean by you have to play at his pace? Well, so anytime you're you're being double teamed, right? Those decisions have to be made quickly. So you have to be thinking ahead as well. So if you're if you're a step behind, he's not going to be able to get the ball out, right? So you got to be there. So he's got his outlet, so he can get the play. And then we got to make sure where he continues to move, so we can get the ball back to him against the spread defense, where they're not set, and we can take advantage of it that way. Then we got to recognize, okay, what's going on in the game? So they were moving Porzingis around. We have to recognize that as a, as a team, right? Who's he guarding? Okay, how do we get him into the action? How do we get Horford? You know, like they they do a good job. They, they got a, they have a great defense and they have a great offense. Tom, I know you don't. I'm gonna try anyway. You don't. Like no, I don't. <laughs> doing comparables, but this stretch for or hypotheticals. Hypotheticals. Yeah. <laughs> um, this stretch yeah. for Jalen. I mean, you coached Derrick Rose's MVP here. You coached. Paul Pierce, you coach Tracy McGrady. I mean, where is David this? Robinson? David Robinson with scoring right. Kevin now. Garnett. Kevin Garnett. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of that's good. For, that's what you call good fortune. Yeah. <laughs> um, where is this like? What, have you seen this type of story? It's just a, it's you know, in in, in the funny thing is, I mean, it's not funny because it's a it's a it's a tribute to the, to the way he works and who he is as a player because, like, we're seeing it now. But we don't see the years of work that he put into this, you know, and that's that's what I think makes it like for me, like watching him grow up and see all the work that he's put into the game and to hear like naysayers doubt him and everyone's got naysayers. That's that's part of sports, you know, but to, for him to continue to p prove everyone wrong. And the best thing is he thinks he can get better and he will because of it's his mindset. He's never satisfied. Uh, you know, good enough is never good enough. He want he always wants to do more and get better, and he wants his teammates to do. He wants the team to do well. That's he's he, he's just a, he's a great player. He's you know, and what he's doing for the team. It's not only because he's impacting winning in a great way. You know, so and and like I said this the other day, the numbers are staggering. You know, and, and the winning is the winning, uh, but to also have the humility to go along with that, I think. That makes him endearing to his teammates, and we're we're lucky to have him. Was there, there was a stretch there where Bogey seemed just out of rhythm completely earlier this season. Just the last six games, double figures, four times. What yeah, have you seen from him? Yeah, it's great. You know, he's he's a gifted scorer. 
I think his teammates are start, starting to recognize how to get him shots. Uh, and he's making really good reads, so he's he's playing well, and that's that's given us a big boost. The bench lineup you've been going to last few games, one with like Bogey and kind of four four defenders. It's it's it's.